Hello everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, your man from Movie Picks and author of the Movie Picks Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements. And today I want to take a look at styles. Now styles are something that are applied to layers. Uh, they don't work if you're applying them to a flat graphic or a flat photograph. But styles can be applied to any kind of layer, including a shape layer and including a text layer. And let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to select the text tool here. I'm just going to type in the word text. Now you notice if you go down to the tool options here below the workspace, you notice that you have options for selecting the color of the text, for selecting its font of course and its alignment. But there's a box here right above anti-aliasing which is blank. You can't really do anything with it. And that's because it is a style library. And styles can only be applied to layers. Now until we lock in this text, it's not a layer. So we can't really do anything with it. And that's why that's blank right now. But let's take a look at what happens when we apply a style to a layer or a text layer. So let's finalize our text by clicking the blue checkbox. Move our text off to the side here. We'll again select text on the toolbar on the left. And you notice when we go down to the tool options bin at the bottom of the uh, workspace, you notice that now we have options here for adding styles. So that box that used to be blank is now lit up. We'll click the down arrow and you see we have options for adding bevels. And if I click this down arrow, you see I can do a lot of different styles. Uh, I can do complex, drop shadows, glass buttons, image effects, all the way down to plastic and chrome and neon. In fact, there are 175 different styles that you can apply to your text or to a, any kind of layer here in Photoshop Elements. As an example, let's select glass buttons and we'll apply blue glass to our text. And now it is blue glass. We can also apply styles to a shape. So if I were to select the shapes over here and we could select this heart, draw the heart. The once it's drawn also, if I go down to the tool options bin, I have options for selecting likewise any one of these styles. Now these styles are exactly the same styles as you'll find over on the right hand side of the program down in the lower right, you see styles and we can open up the a whole library of styles, including show all, where we can go through all 175 of them. Again, they apply only to layers and they're ideal for applying to text and shapes. So I can apply this orange glass to my heart. Once I select my heart, double click on it, and now my heart is orange glass. Now there are elements to the glass and there, th in order to get that glass look, uh, there's lighting that hits it, there are shadows that hit it to give it kind of a rounded look. And we can access those also simply by selecting, we'll select the text here. And if I go to layers, you notice that the layers that I've applied styles to have a little FX after them here in the layers panel. If I double click on that FX, it opens up the style settings where I can modify these particular styles. So in order to get that glass look, a certain level of glow, inner glow, and bevel have been added to it. I can also control the direction that the light is shining on my glass text. So right here, it's coming from directly above. I can drag on that little 360 thing there and make the lighting come from any direction. Pretty cool, huh? Now, just so I can show you how to modify things in style settings, I'm going to cancel that and we'll just get rid of the text. We'll type in new text. We'll once again, finalize it and select it. And then from the, this time we'll go over to the styles panel and I'll select bevels. And we'll just apply a bevel look to the text, double clicking on it. And now you can see our text sort of looks sunken in or it looks embossed sort of on the page. And once again, if I go back over to the layers panel, double click on FX, I can modify that bevel. I can change how deep that bevel is. I can change the angle of the light hitting it. I can add a stroke around it or an outline around it.
I can add a drop shadow behind it if I'd like. And I can do a lot of really cool modifications. So styles are a pretty cool way to modify any layer. And again, we've been using them exclusively on text and shapes, but virtually any layered element you have in your photograph, you can add a style to, which will bring out kind of a three-dimensional look to it. Now, if you want to know more about styles, you want to know more about effects, you want to know more about filters, you want to know more about this program, I hope you check out my book, The Movie Picks Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements, or check out many of the tutorials that I have available here on YouTube. I'm Steve Grizzetti, the man from Movie Picks. I wrote the book. It's available on Amazon.com, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.